Hello, this is Bosniak, and uh, today we're playing the live match of the Warfist Beta game, free-to-play game from Crytek. Uh, the guys that made Crisis, Crisis 2, Warheads, Crisis 3, and this. Um, this is my second match. Uh, my first match was... Uh, some kind of captured a uh, territory or something, and man, that match went for like 40 minutes long. It was pretty tedious, uh, and uh, I got myself familiar with some of the functions in the gameplay. And I'm just gonna kind of um, tell you what this game is about. Is uh, it's pretty much uh, very similar to it's like a mix of Battlefield, Call of Duty, and uh, Counter Strike, where you purchase uh, items and uh, equipment upgrades. Um, you have to use uh, teamwork. To, as you saw, the, the icon right there is to climb um, some of the cargo ladders, uh, walls, and stuff. Um, you can um, help other guys by throwing them, you know, med, med packs and uh, ammo and stuff like that. You have four basic classes, like rifleman, uh, medic, engineer, and the sniper. A uh, very standard fare. It's uh, um, I mean, even this map feels like <laughs> it's like uh, what is this? Is this Call of Duty? Yeah, yeah, I remember this map. This is from Call of Duty 4, isn't it? Except instead of those little uh, wooden uh, buildings, uh, now they have crates here. Okay. So, anyways, the game is. Uh, I mean, it suffers from that generic look to it, with all the you know the menus. Uh, Suffocating the uh, the HUD here, and uh, but it's not a bad looking game. I mean, I mean, right now it's running over 120, 130 frames. Uh, right if you can see the uh, the counter, I don't, I don't think you can. Uh, but on my 3770K and the GTX 680, I mean, I have the GTX 680 running on stock stock clocks at uh, you know 1200 uh, megahertz, and it's you know it's killing the game. Anybody with a uh, mid-range setup mid-range graphics card should be able to eat this game up at 60 frames per second um, so if you have a you know like a uh, 7850 or you know GTX 660 uh, or TI you know you're good to go I mean the game plays smooth uh, it's not a bad looking game either I mean it's got some nice effects like motion and um, uh, I forgot what this is now called. Field of Death. Field of Depth is, um, it's not overly done. And here's the medic in action uh, reviving me. So, I mean, it doesn't have that terrible, uh, you know, uh, one of those uh, free to play Chinese uh, feels to the game. Uh, but it's definitely a, not up to the standards of Battlefield and uh, Crisis. I don't think it even runs on the uh, CryEngine 3. I, I don't know what engine it runs, but it just doesn't have that same caliber. But it's again, it's not a bad game. It's not a bad looking game at all. Um, it's fun to play. It's easy to easy maneuver, easy to control, uh, hard to kill, and easy to die. So my first map, my, my first match was a uh, I don't know, like a negative of 30 kill death ratio. So, uh, right now what I'm playing is the team deathmatch mode. And uh, it's basically, uh, you know, whoever has the most kills. Uh, I'm not sure what the counter is, the tick, uh, the kill counter is. Uh, right now, we're, I guess we're winning by 76 to 49. Uh, it'll, it'll probably be, it'll, it, it will probably go up to 100, I assume. Uh, anyways, um... So this game is going to be completely free. Uh, like I said, this is the beta, uh, invitation only. There's not a whole lot of players actually. I mean, maybe 50 players all in all that I've seen uh, on this uh, March the 11th of 2013. It's, uh, it's a Monday. I mean, I'm sure there's not a whole lot of people playing. Uh, most of the games, it's not the peak, peak hour and peak season time of the day, you know, it's not the weekend, but, uh, 
Uh, you can tell that the game is uh, invitation only. Uh, you, I, don't, I don't think you can get this game downloaded anywhere um, without the actual um, invite from the developers. And they use this kind of like the uh, the Battlefield Battlelog uh, type of browser launcher. Um, it even plays the Help game. Me. In, uh, you know, before you actually start the game, you can actually go in the yeah. um, yeah. different yeah. menus and uh, play. Oh, you're not getting it? Yeah, dude. How do you mute somebody? Okay. Seriously, bro? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, so the game is going to be completely free to play once it's released. I'm not sure what the release date is. Uh, I wasn't even sure that they're going to send me the invite to beta test from for them because I signed up for this like four months ago I think and I've never heard anything uh, from them so I assume I was like oh well I'll just play it whenever it comes out but I just got the email like five days ago and I decided to join so it's not a bad game uh, I mean it's very standard I mean, I mean, it's this. There's so many first-person shooters, uh, you know, these days that it's kind of hard to distinguish one from another. Uh, yeah, low textures, as you can see right here. Uh, some of the textures are not bad, actually. Um, it varies. That like the game can go from like looking really good to like looking really crappy. Um, some of the, some of the parts of the game. Uh, right now what I'm playing is the engineer class. Uh, I can lay like claymores and uh, stuff like that even though I haven't really killed anybody with, with a claymore. And um, she can shoot the claymores and kill somebody else. Uh, you get this little counter here when you see one kill, two kills, three kills, four kills or whatever. Uh, it's kind of like a... Uh, Tally counter uh, gives you an idea of how many people you've killed so far without dying. So we'll start over again, like I just died now, so you start over again with, with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, it's kind of cool. Gives you like an idea of uh, how many people actually killed in a row without, you know, having to go through uh, menus and stuff. You can also slide in the game. I highly would recommend that you would that you change the uh, the uh, the keys, the binding of the keys. It's kind of awkward. You, know, you press like C to bring up the uh, the menu option, the gun menu option, which you can customize, like in uh, Crisis Three on Crisis any Crisis game. Okay, I did not know why I just came to their spawn. I just got raped. So yeah, you can bring up the uh, customization option like right here. And uh, the game is over. I'll see you next time. Hello, I'm back. Uh, I was just... Uh, I must have been waiting for like 15 minutes in the lobby because some host was just taking a nap. Alright, let's go climb. Okay, so this is the uh, one of the examples of how you can help your buddy out get up on uh, buildings and stuff, which normally you couldn't access. So I'll go ahead and show you in the menu what you have. Uh, when you press escape, basically escape will bring up the menu where you can select the uh, 
uh, the class um, quite easy. Uh, I like this. This is very convenient. You can just press escape and pick it, and then I'll go into a counter um, and uh, get you ready next time when you respawn. Um, not a whole lot of um, options as far as uh, customization. You can assign keys. Uh, um, here are some team-based uh, um, assign buttons. Uh, you can change the uh, the binding, mouse sensitivity, invert mouse, um, no acceleration or anything like that. You push T to talk, uh, initiate boats and stuff like that and on the side you can customize your reticule um, it's kind of neat uh, uh, video very simple full screen anti-aliasing vertical sync motion blur um, oh, you die and as far as graphics I mean it's fairly simple not a whole lot of um, detailed settings uh, like you would normally see in a uh, PC game PC only game, by the way. But you know, it is what it is. It's free. And as I say, can't complain. You know about free game, but and I don't know if the game's gonna, you know, turn into something like, uh, you know, micro micro transaction galore. You know, we basically have to buy everything just to, you know, be decent at anything. So. But I haven't really seen much difference, um, or like, you know, a player where he's like dominating with a certain weapon, you know, to where I would have to go and buy stuff. Uh, grenades are deadly in this game. I mean, they you throw one and it explodes immediately, pretty much. Uh, snipers, as as well, snipers seem to be um, very deadly from a distance. Fun to play too, though. Um, the hit detection is—it's um, actually not bad. Um, It's kind of like Battlefield, you can wait until somebody resurrects you or you can just instantly spawn. Um, unless you change classes, then there is a penalty. The only thing I seem to dislike about it is the, uh, it's kind of sluggish to go from different positions, like crouching, to running, from reloading, um, to melee, you know, stuff like that. And even though I've set up the, uh, the customization in the menu and I saved it, it's still reverted it back to uh, default uh, assignment, assigned keys, so it's kind of a pain because I really don't like the uh, the original key bindings. It's just it's w weird. I just don't like it. I don't like wordy what the C does with the X does and stuff like that. So I highly advise that you do change 
goes when you get a chance, even if it's every match. Or you can just get used to it. Ammo is very important. Um, I mean, you pretty much have to aim all your shots. And um, deliver all those ammo, all those bullets into the opponent. If you don't, there's a high chance you're going to die. So as you can see here, some of the uh, some of the textures are not bad. It's not a bad looking game. I'm last 10 12. Like I said, this is like my third game, so just getting used to it. Let us try the sniper. I saw the guy, I just didn't get him in time. It's a little too zoomed in though, for my taste. Anyways, uh, last 10 seconds, uh, we're kind of coming up to the close, to the last game. I'm not even going to be able to <laughs> respawn, but I hope you enjoyed watching it. And, uh, um, leave your comments at the bottom. Let me know what you think. Thanks.